For most insects, if you were to step on them, they would squish under our feet. This is obviously because we are a lot larger and heavier than them. Now, this is for the average insect, but if you step on ants, they sometimes are able to withstand the pressure of our feet and ultimately survive. As you probably know, ants are some of the strongest insects. However, they come nowhere near the strongest insect in the world. On the west coast of North America, specifically Southern California and Baja California, exists the diabolical ironclad beetle. When I first heard the name, I thought it was the absolute coolest name for an insect, for good reason. When first looking at one of these beetles, you probably wouldn't think anything of them. Just another beetle you may find scattering around your yard, but this thing is something else. What I'm about to tell you will probably make your jaw drop. They can withstand pressures, get this, of nearly 39,000 times its own body weight without being squished. Yeah, you heard that right. To put this amount into perspective, this would be the equivalent of a 200 pound man enduring a weight of 7.8 million pounds, making these beetles able to survive being run over by a car. Pretty crazy, right? And of course you're probably thinking, how is this even possible? Well, it's all in their exoskeleton, which is basically a hard covering that supports and protects the bodies of some types of insects. The diabolical ironclad beetle's exoskeleton is composed of multiple layers of proteins, each providing unique properties to withstand immense forces. The proteins include cuticle proteins, which are bound together tightly through cross-linking with chitin, a substance that gives flexibility and rigidity to an insect's exoskeleton. We've all played jigsaw puzzles before, right? Well, I hope so. The diabolical ironclad beetle also has a similar design, just like puzzle pieces. Along the midline of its exoskeleton, there are interlocking jigsaw-like pieces that connect the left and right halves. This structure, called the suture, absorbs and redistributes stress across the whole body. When the beetle experiences pressure, such as a compressive force, the interlocking pieces can shift slightly without breaking, allowing the beetle to deform without shattering. And that's not all. Their exoskeletons are also built from multiple layers of chitin fibers, as mentioned earlier, are tough and resilient chemical compounds. They're arranged in a cross-hatched structure, which kind of acts like plywood. In this layered arrangement, the fibers are oriented in different directions, providing maximum resilience to pressure. Each layer also distributes the load in different directions, which also strengthens the overall structure, making them pretty much indestructible. So, why did the diabolical ironclad beetle evolve to be so tough in the first place? It turns out that its dry, forested habitat is a bit of a battlefield. It lives under tree bark, where predators like birds, rodents, and reptiles see it as an easy snack. Instead of flying away, which it can't, the beetle plays dead, relying on its nearly indestructible armor to protect it. When the predator tries to crush it, the beetle's toughness comes into play. Many animals eventually give up on trying to eat it, and the beetle survives simply by being too tough to chew or break. Over countless generations, this resilience has been naturally selected and fine-tuned, creating a creature that can endure incredible forces. These things are also so strong that scientists are actually trying to use the beetle's exoskeleton design in man-made objects like armor, aircraft, drones, and robotics, all to make them stronger and more durable. Well, now you know how and why these beetles are so strong, and I should say pretty much indestructible. I hope you all enjoyed, and thank you so much for watching.